What in the world is Microvision and why are people acting so nuts about it all of a sudden with Nicholas Johnson? This is a brief overview into the company behind the MVIS ticker in case you're looking into this stock for the first time. Microvision is a company that makes a suite of LiDAR modules. What are those? I could imagine you saying to yourself. A LiDAR is a little machine that shoots pulses of laser beams, literal laser beams out in front and around a car and is able to record a precise measurement of the distance and in the case of Microvision's LiDAR, also the speed and heading of any object around that car, up to 200 meters away. Essentially, it's a real-time 3D scanner for the world around a car. It shoots millions of beams per second and can deliver a constantly updated, perfectly precise 3D environment of the current and upcoming environment that a car is driving in. Vehicles do this now with radar and cameras. If you have a newer car, you're probably used to that cruise control that automatically slows down if you zoom up on the car in front of you, or when you're about to change lanes but someone's over there, you get that little orange light in your mirror. Those work now, but they're just not that precise. That's done with radar. Tesla is kind of its own thing, where they use a bunch of cameras and basically a liquid-cooled supercomputer to triangulate and render a similar type of 3D data. But nothing is quite as precise as a laser beam. Plus, the LiDAR will have its own computational ASIC built right in. It's like its own little computer built right onto the module. So the car's computer won't need to be so crazy advanced to do the same stuff that Teslas do, and do it better. Microvision is selling two versions of this technology, Maven for automotive use, which can see a couple hundred meters down the road and has multiple different ranges and angles of of vision. Maven is about the size of an iOmega zip drive, if you're old enough to remember what these things are. I am. And Movia, a shorter range, smaller unit for use with slower moving things, like agriculture and industrial robots and things of that nature. That one is more the size of a promotional Uline sticky note set. It's like a little pallet, isn't that adorable? The Movia will probably also be used mounted at an angle on cars for things like parking and lane changing, all that stuff. As for why you're suddenly hearing about LiDAR, an automotive sensor of all things, and people are making these insane bets on the stock market, I mean, it's not like you go to CES and see these huge booths and displays for the latest backup camera technology. Who even makes those? I don't know. Basically, we're all about to live through one of those crazy world-changing technological revolutions, like the internet or steam engines allowing assembly lines to make things insanely fast, whatever. First, your car will just help you drive. If someone in front of you slams on their brakes, your car will slam on its brakes without your input or swerve around that car because it'll already have a perfect 360 degree 3D map of the traffic around you and it can predict a perfect path to avoid the thing. Because of LiDAR, it'll detect black ice way ahead up on a curve of a bridge because LiDAR, in addition to sensing range, can also sense like the difference in surfaces. It'll be able to parallel park for you or do the stop and go stuff in boring traffic for you without you having to keep nudging the steering wheel every 10 seconds like my wife's expedition makes me do. A bit later, during the AI revolution, make sure to say please and thank you to your Alexa and Siri while you still have the chance, you'll be able to just summon your car to come pick you up wherever you are. You'll be able to outfit the inside of your minivan like an office or a gym or a movie theater so you can be more productive on your way to wherever you go. Where do you go? You'll be able to have it drop you off and then go find a parking spot on its own. Stuff like that. And anyway, automakers are talking about this shift in car capabilities now. That part is not speculation. First the safety stuff, but then the automation stuff. And that doesn't even touch on robots. Farm robots, assembly line robots, delivery robots, army robots. The robots are finally coming for real. Even though I think my dad's generation also thought that in the 1970s, but they didn't have this guy doing parkour and having dance parties with his robot friends. Those robots will also use LiDAR to make sure they don't stomp on your foot while they're delivering your Amazon packages. That's coming. But back to now, there's something of a LiDAR race going on. Car companies have said they want it, and there's something like half a dozen companies lined up to be the ones who provide the millions of little sensors to all the auto manufacturers around the world. Automakers seem to have their eyes set on the model year 2027 for this new normal, and that means their engineers need to start playing with these things now. It's time for investors to pick their horse. I have attached my wagon to Microvision. As far as I can tell, they seem to have the smallest package with the best resolution at the lowest price. Seems like a winning combination to me. And I'm not just guessing, if you haven't seen me before, I've been out to meet them. I've seen the sensors in operation, I've ridden in the test vehicles. I've talked with the CEO and CFO face to face, and I've talked with the competition. No one has announced any major partnerships yet, none of the companies, but basically all of the competing LiDAR companies are being public about the fact that they are in active negotiations with OEMs. I would expect things to start getting really interesting inside the next three or four months, but maybe next week, who knows?
I don't. Some of the things that we do know about Microvision, the CEO was pretty clear in the last earnings call about the fact that they are in negotiations, actively going back and forth with more than one potential OEM partner. It sounds like there's a who, they're just negotiating how much. Also, there's been something of a hiring spree going on over there at Microvision. They now have offices in Washington, Detroit, Hamburg, and Nuremberg. The company has more than 300 employees and they are actively hiring more engineers, more accountants, and more executive management. And just a day ago now, the board of directors publicly purchased with their own money 50,000 of their own shares. A reasonably small number, I agree. I have half of that in my own account. But nevertheless, what I keep reading is that there are a hundred reasons to sell shares, but there's only one reason to buy them. And you're not gonna add a bunch of six-figure salaries to your roster if you don't expect a lot of work coming pretty soon. I think that pretty much sums it up. MVIS is Microvision. Microvision makes a LiDAR 3D scanning thing for cars. Big name manufacturers already say very publicly that they will be using LiDAR. Now it's just down to who wins the most contracts. You can find way more information about this on the MVIS subreddit, linked in the description below. There is a great group of investors over there, people who carefully read through all the job listings, they carefully examine the new patent filings, and and some of us show up at the events that Microvision is attending to read the room and try to feel the level of confidence with the leadership. Place your bets. The stock market is irrational, confusing, and often unfair. Personally, I think this technology will go nuts pretty soon, but then calm down a little bit and just grow for the next decade or so. You are now up to speed. Goodbye.